Kevin, I have Ethan here, and we are obviously wine connoisseurs. <laughs> All right, so we are going to go through the top five best red budget wines under $15. So if you're young, millennial, on a budget, need to bring wine, and you don't know what the hell you're talking about, we got you covered. We did our research, and these are the best rated wines under $15. Okay, so we use the Vivino app. Basically, you could be in any wine store and just scan the label. And then it prints up the wine. The first one is Bogle Vineyards. It's a Cabernet Sauvignon. 3.6 rating by 14,556 people. And it is an average price of $12. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty great. Pre pretty, 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 good. pretty good. So we are going to taste it. We've actually never had this one, have you? I have it, I don't remember. I smell blackberries. When I was sniffing it in and didn't even take a sip yet, I was like... Yeah. It was a really nice smell. Cherry, for sure. This might be my new favorite wine. That was good. That was good. <laughs> 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 one sip of wine, you're like, this is my favorite wine. <laughs> I got this one for $14 at my local liquor store, but it doesn't always have the best prices there. The average is 12 so that's pretty good for wine. For a Cabernet Sauvignon, the taste is good. It's pretty oaky. It's really, it's a nice full-bodied. It's not too heavy. Yeah, I'm getting some, some, some cherry, some oak, medium body, a little bit of peppery to it. Smooth. It has that little zing pepper taste at the end. The aftertaste is, is enjoyable. It doesn't make it or break it. I honestly wouldn't guess this was $12. Yeah, it's pretty good. I could definitely have this with cheese. So this <laughs> one, so this <laughs> wine is, stop doing that. We're never gonna get through this. You're right. So this wine is very high in tannin. <laughs> <laughs> so this wine is very, very high, high in tannin. tannin. <laughs> you get that from wines that are aged in oak barrels, which is why you get a very oaky flavor from this one. Yeah, so this is uh, it's vintage 2016. It's 13.5% alcohol from Clarksburg, California. Let's, let's do this next. You're supposed to just you know pour a little taste. That's not fun. Another trick: when you only have one wine glass, pour some water in it. This one is called the Pinot Project. It's a 2018 Pinot Noir from California, and I actually get it all the time. I really love this one. Um, that's why it's already open, because I had it last night already. <laughs> the average price is around $13 for this Which guy. Which is amazing. I love Pinot Noir because it's just much lighter than a Cabernet Sauvignon. I usually love a Cab, but when it's not that cold out yet and you want a good red wine, it's just really light and easy to drink. So yeah, let's give it a taste. Hey! Doesn't have as much of a smell as the last one, but that's also because cabs are just smells, cheaper. It smells sweeter. Yeah. It's got like a, a nice ruby red color to it. Okay, honestly, it's been open for a day, so. Good though. I know. It's naturally less, a little less flavorful and less full body than the Cabernet, just because that's the nature of the Pinot Noir in general. But it has a nice spice to it, which is what I always love about it. I like that this is pretty dry, actually. Yeah. On, on the tongue. That's what I mean. It has like a spice. It's like dry and. Yeah. It's yeah. like it's sweet from the black cherry and it's oaky, but when it hits your tongue, it's just like spice. The oakiness is similar to the Bogle Cabernet Sauvignon, um, but it's definitely a little lighter and a little bit sweeter, I would say. I also just love the label and the packaging. So if you need to go somewhere trendy. <laughs> That was the fakest laugh <laughs> you have ever done. It wasn't done. This has a nice ripeness to it as well, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. honestly no. But Me neither. Yeah. <laughs> so we've been on wine at wine tastings all over the world and our parents love wine, so we've tried like wines from all over the world in different price ranges and these truly are so good you would never know. So if you want to impress a girl, bring this one. She'll think you bought her an $80 bottle of wine. Oh, grrr. But actually she wouldn't because I just take her Vino app out and right. she'll scan it and she'll see that. If you want to act like you know what you're talking about, just listen to the stupid we're saying. Bring this bottle on and you'll be set. Just, here, we'll act it out. 
Hey, do you want to drink a really good bottle of wine later? Yeah, and I mean, I'm, I don't really know anything about wine, but no, like, no, no. you do? You'll be able to tell because it's really good. It'll be a little treat for us. Oh wow, so you like know a lot about wine? Yeah, I know a good amount. Rinse it out. 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 The, the next, next one, one is <laughs> Trader Joe's Meritage Napa Valley 2017 Red Wine. Uh, there's a better rated Trader Joe's wine. Uh, unfortunately, Trader Joe's didn't have it today, so this is the one we went with. We'll see if it's okay. We just wanted to recommend Trader Joe's in general because yeah. they only have it at the Trader Joe's wine shop, so don't just go to your local Trader Joe's and expect it. But I know in New York City, I think the only one is in Union Square. Yeah, and every single one of them has a really good price. So far, all the ones I've had have been really, really good value. We'll see if this one's okay, even though the rating isn't as great. Yeah. So by the way, this is the Trader Joe's Meritage 2017 Red Wine. It's from Napa Valley, and I believe it is a mix of a few different grapes. Okay, so this one I'm actually excited to try because number one, I've never tried Trader Joe's wine. And number two, this is the first one of the video that I've never tried before. Right off the bat, from the smell, definitely get some berries. So maybe some, oh, some wow. blackberry. No. Cherry again, even. Now, this one is actually. Not sweet, though. It just smells like. 14.6% alcohol. That's a lot. And it's, it's more than wine probably should be. At least in uh, Chianti, we were always told that. Wine should never really be more than 13% naturally. Let's see how it tastes. Interesting. This is my least favorite one so far. Me too. One thing I always look for in a red wine is the aftertaste. Mm -hmm. uh, you never want to drink wine that's like tough to push through. You want a, drinking a bottle of it to be pretty seamless and easy and enjoyable. Um, so even though this is my least favorite, I still could imagine drinking a bottle of it pretty easily. It's still somewhat well balanced, medium body. I think it's easy to drink, not my favorite at all, but it also is the least rated of all five that we have for you. I definitely wouldn't like avoid Trader Joe's wine because we've had better there. It's like very much blackberry in the sense that like the aftertaste is sour. It's a little acidic, it's a little sour. It's acidic it's, and sour, but yeah. not in a terrible, terrible way, just in like a blackberry way. I like acidic red wines with meat. I feel like it balances out the richness of, of meat pretty well. So. If you are gonna I'm grab this wine, meat. I think it would be a good a good pairing with with a, a red meat. <laughs> so good. I like to say skol, the little thing I picked up from Denmark when I was studying abroad there. He's well cultured. I'm pretty well cultured. I like a lot of friends too. <laughs> I have to say, the more I'm drinking this, I don't hate it. Every every sip is. I get a different feedback, but a lot of people actually find that with the most expensive bottles of wine, they're actually their least favorite because they're a little bit more complex and they, they're they not as much of a punch in your face, you know, this is the flavor. It's a little bit harder to, to d dissect and figure out. And just so you all know, I wasn't just like sitting on my phone, I was doing something really important. Um, a lot of the times, if you drink a, w a wine with just one type of grape, it's very much a certain type of flavor, very specific. So you'll either hate it or you'll or you'll love it. Finish that, please. It'll take too long. So this is the second Bovel that we're trying today. Um, this is the Old Vines of Fidel 2016 California. So this one has a 3.7, an average pr price of 11.50. Great. And How many people rated it for 3.7? 18,000 people. That's a lot of So, people. that's a pretty damn good rating. So obviously we have a lot of wine experience for people our age, but I, to my knowledge, never had a Zinfandel, is that what it's called? Let's try it. Definitely nice smell. Score. Score. It's dry. You feel, you feel it in your nasal passages a little bit, which is kind of nice. It's zoned in. Bogles are my favorite so good. far. The bogles have been the best so far. Across the board, I'm, gonna, I'm just putting it out there right now. If you're in a wine shop looking for a good budget wine, I've tried about two to three bogles in my lifetime by now and they've all been great. I'm, get, I'm getting some vanilla nodes in here. Nicely balanced. It's, it's dry, which is, which is cool. I'm, I'm enjoying the dryness of it. Here's the thing. If you're someone who doesn't like wine, you're probably one of those people that wants a sweet wine. So now looking back, you might actually prefer that Trader Joe's wine. Mm. But 
If you're like us and you like a full body dry wine, which is what we prefer, this one is incredible. I'm tasting so many different flavors from berries to vanilla. To, it's almost like everything we've had combined into one, but it's not too overpowering. Definitely deep red. Definitely drunk by now. Guys. Ooh, I just got sweetness from this all of a sudden. I just, got some, I just got some honey. Ooh. Where did I get honey? Ooh, me too. Let's, let's read this actually. The old head trained vines are unique because they produce a smaller crop of fruit that is unusually rich and concentrated. So we have handcrafted a wine that displays intense blackberry, black cherry, and raspberry flavors wrapped in a smooth blanket of vanilla and oak. What? <laughs> oak! $11 for one of our favorites of the five. That's the cheapest one. Yeah, I mean, in terms of value, this is one of the best wines there is. And I don't know if I mentioned it before, Bogle, the best rated one is Essential Red. They just didn't have it at the wine store I went to, so this is amazing. And the Essential Red is rated 10 times better. It's probably pretty fucking good. All right, all right, all right. We're getting more tired because- Hey guys, this is our last wine. Red wine makes you tired. This is the Josh Cabernet Sauvignon, vintage 2017. Let's try it. Shout out to Jess Rubenstein, it's her favorite. So this one has 3.8 rating, 40,000 ratings. 43,000 ratings. And an average price of 14.58. So this is probably the most expensive one, but it's still under $15 and it's rated the most. It's like you probably would know this one. You know why I love that? Why? Because you looked at me, I was talking about something else, and you thought in your head, love her. That's what I tell myself. <laughs> Skull. Skull. Sorry, but <laughs> I'm getting like, like hazelnut. Such Interesting. Like, it's strong, like cocoa. Like, yeah, like, like not berry. Like, not grape, not berry. It's like. Or like French vanilla, or like, whoa. Why was that toasted hazelnut and cinnamon? Genius! Meh, meh, meh. <laughs> now I do. This is definitely the most complex wine we have, which is really cool because you get some uh, unconventional flavors in here, like the hazelnut. Um, I'm, getting, I'm getting like spices in here. And this is definitely full bodied as well. Yeah. If you like that. It has a kick. Oh, yeah. This has a kick. Yeah. So, what's yeah. the average price? 14? 14.58. You should probably see it at your local place for 15.16 if you live in the city. If you live somewhere more modest, you'll get it for 14 or below. <laughs> Number one. Number two. Respect. Number three. Respect. And it was open and old. Number four. But this one could have been here or there. This honestly. one could have been here. Yeah, I mean this one was- Here, here, there. this is what we're gonna do. No, then you, no, no one sorry, can sorry, see sorry. it. Behind the no one can see it. We're... She doesn't get it. She, she's new. Like this. <laughs> Comment your favorite wine below if you've tried any of these, or your favorite budget wine below, and we'll do a white wine one soon. But we felt this was fitting for fall and winter. Give us some recommendations. Tell us what you want us to do. Tell us. Do you want me to? Sure, I'll tell you. All right. Goodbye. <laughs>